Hello, hello! Welcome back to my channel. My name is Kiana and I make curlier content, I make beauty content, and also some vlogging. So anything that you're interested, I hope you can find it here. Today we're going to be doing my favorite current curly hairstyles. This is just going to be five of my favorite curly hairstyles that I just cannot stop wearing recently. And so I wanted to say first things first that Usually on my first day hair, I just wear that as normal with no fun hairstyles involved. Hairstyles I usually save for my second day hair, so today is actually second day hair. I will definitely be making a video on how I refresh my curls. I have 2C to 3A curls, so if you're similar to that or just interested in how I do fun hairstyles, I'm so glad you're here. This is the video for you. So we're just going to get straight into it. My first one, I did actually let my hair dry down the middle today just because a lot of my hairstyles I do have my front two pieces hanging out. I'm just going to kind of rough it up just a little bit just to get those roots a little bit more volume. So first up I am going to talk about my obsession with claw clips. <laughs> so I have so many different hairstyles that I do with claw clips. I'm actually only going to show you two today. One is a half up, half down, and then the other one is basically like a claw clip all the way up do, I guess is what I'll call it, because I don't know what else to call it. So I do have my goodies <laughs> in this basket. I have all of my clips, bows, all this fun stuff. First up is going to be this half up, half down. It is super cute. I probably do this one the most. I think that it just looks good in my hair no matter what. I can wear it on first day hair. I can wear it on absolutely terrible hair. Yeah, I think it's a little spunky. It's really cute. There's so many different ways to do it. So for this first look, I have various different claw clips. I get most of my claw clips from Target actually, because Target has huge ones like so. I had a black and white one. My dog chewed it up because he's a puppy and he's still learning. But anyways, I got a different one because I love the shape and how big this one is because it fits all of my hair in it, surprisingly enough. I got this one from H&M and then this one is also Target. For this one, I'm just going to use this, I guess, mid-size version. And what we're gonna do is we're going to take our face framing pieces out. I do have a haircut for face framing pieces, which is really nice because I enjoy, I enjoy my little face framing pieces quite a bit. So I'm just trying to decide exactly how much face framing that I wanna have out. And then I will section kind of from my ears up and I'll make sure to grab just the tiniest bit of kind of hair from the back as well that way I don't just have two stringly pieces draped and once I have it in the back I'm going to twist these pieces not too tightly just trying to get them all in a uniform area then I will double it on itself and I will grab that medium clip and I will position it like so. And then I will kind of finagle these pieces until I'm happy with it. I think that it is super, super cute. And again, it's so easy. And as many claw clips as you have, you can just keep switching them out and they can match all different kinds of outfits. I think that it's really great. So yeah, here it is from the front. I think that it is so cute. And this has been my like go-to hairstyle. I don't even know where I saw it or how I came up with it. I think it was honestly a mistake, but it works out. So <laughs> we love when that happens. And if you wanted to take your smaller clip or your medium size, whichever one you want, you could easily just put it down like that too. Half up, half down, super, super simple. And honestly, I love it so much. My next one using my clip is going to be that full hairstyle all the way up. And again, I'm just going to grab all of my hair minus my little pieces. I'll take some down by my ears. I'm going to twist my hair. Take my bigger clip just because this is so much hair. I'm gonna clip it all in one place. And I think that it's an adorable all the way up. It keeps it kind of out of my face. 
And yeah, I think that it is really, really cute. Sorry if I say cute all the time. It's just my favorite word at the moment. And it even looks really cute from the front. <laughs> so yeah, I definitely love this one. Anytime that I just need to go out and about and my hair doesn't look its best, I can do this one even on a little bit messy of days. And I will say if my hair, like if these two front pieces aren't curling the way that I want them to, I do have a half inch curling rod, like wand, curling rod, wand, whichever word you prefer. And I will use that just to curl these two front pieces every now and then just because sometimes they don't want to act right, especially if it is day three, day four hair. They're a little tired, they're a little straggly. So if they aren't wanting to cooperate entirely how I want them to, I will just curl them. And I think that it's definitely a great investment. I think I got mine off of Amazon for like 21 $25, something like that. <laughs> I can definitely link it down in the bio down below as well. Next up, I have bandanas. I used to wear bandanas honestly way too much. I had a bandana for every single outfit. I don't know where half of my bandanas have gone. That's totally fine. <laughs> I don't wear them nearly as much, but I still think that they're really cute, especially now in the fall. And I also like them in the spring. So I guess it's kind of winter now, but same idea. My main way that I wear it is just going to be right across the top with it tied underneath. I used to do this on day two, day three hair. So to get it exactly how I want it, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to bring out my scrunchie just real quick. And any hairs that I don't want showing in the front, I will just put them in a ponytail. And then I'm going to take it, my bandana, I fold it in half. Mine are so used to how I use them, so they're kind of stretched out. But I will fold it in half. And then I will put it right over the top, letting those two pieces that we took out stay out. And I tie it underneath my ponytail. Sometimes I tie it tight, sometimes I don't. I used to use satin ones and silk bandanas. And if I'm being honest, they just slipped off my head too much. And so I didn't like them. You can leave it here just as a ponytail. And I think that it can be really cute with a normal ponytail, obviously not the scrunchie. <laughs> but I take my scrunchie out and I just kind of fluff it. I'll pull some little pieces down by my ears as well. And I have a little bandana. And I think that that can be really cute. It can look super fun. It's just a nice little switch up, especially if you're so used to your hair being kind of crazy. So yeah, I do that. I've done it in a low bun before because low buns can look really cute as well. Another hairstyle, this is the fourth hairstyle that I get probably questions on the most often because in my TikTok videos, if you guys know me from TikTok, I do make quite a bit of short content. So if you guys want to, you can follow me on TikTok here or you can follow me at my Instagram beauty page here. I post basically the same type of content. One of my main questions is my buns. So I do my buns on TikTok really, really quickly. And a lot of people have been like, how in the world do you do those? So these buns, I don't know, I would say that they can last me all day. They're not the most sturdy of things. So don't think that this is going to last you like a workout or anything. But I just take a normal hair tie. Let me get my little hair tie bag open. <laughs> I gotta keep them all somewhere because otherwise I'll lose them. They'll just be around the house. So I'm gonna take a brown one just because I think it'll match my hair a little bit better today. So again, I leave out my curly hair pieces. I come up to the top and I wrap my hand with the hair tie around it like you're going to do a ponytail, but you don't fully bring your hair through. You wrap it right at the bottom, twist it back over, and then I just kind of pull them out. I play with it a little and I kind of want it to look a little messy. That's the whole point. And <laughs> it's kind of funny to say because a lot of the times whenever I'm doing this in videos, it just ends up working out. So today it probably won't. It's gonna do something real funny. But yeah, she's wanting to act like a fool today. Honestly, I just kind of mess with it until I like it. Take any pieces down that I want. And honestly, like that's kind of just how I do a little bun. I get a lot of questions on that. I just kind of do the fold over once method. I think that it works the best for me. Going with the bun theme, I'm going to do the exact same thing down at the bottom of my head. And I think that this also can look super cute with various things. So once again, we're going to go to the bottom of our head, grab all of the hairs. I'm going to take it through once, 
go to the very bottom of the end, flip it, tuck in any pieces. I kind of like, I don't really like bobby pins too much, so I just kind of pull and tuck things back into the ponytail holder. If there are too many pieces, I'll just wrap them around and tuck them back into that ponytail. Doing little bows around these too, so I have this cute bow. <laughs> And I kind of just wrap it around once. Doop. And I'll just continuously. If I can figure this out. There we go. I don't know. I think that, like, just for the holidays, it's a fun pop of color in my hair. And I think that it can be super cute. I really do say cute a lot, don't I? I need to get a new word. <laughs> but yeah. Those are five of my favorite hairstyles, maybe give or take, because I know that that first one I kind of did multiple options. So I hope that you guys enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching. This is, I think, day five of Vlogmas for me, and I've been having the most fun doing it, and I'm just so, so thankful that you guys are here watching. This is so fun. This is exactly what I wanted to do and have this kind of platform to just explain things in depth with you and have more of a conversation with um, any of my followers and you guys make me so so happy and so I will definitely be doing more and more of these curly hairstyles. These are just kind of my go-to, super simple. This wasn't a complex video at all. That wasn't the point. Point is just to give you inspiration to wear your hair curly because I love your hair curly and I hope you do too. So all right hugs and kisses. Bye-bye. I love you guys. I love your curls. I hope you love your curls. Your curls are absolutely beautiful. Okay, bye. Yeah.